Hey everybody, my name is Andrew. And my name is Morek. And you are listening to Culips. Hey Morag. Hey Andrew. How's it going? Pretty darn well, Andrew. How are you? I'm doing okay too. What's new? Nothing too exciting, but I guess something has changed. I, uh, out of the blue, decided to get fake nails. Fake nails? Like fake fingernails? Fake fingernails. Yeah. Whoa. (laughs) What on earth made you decide to do that? The internet, specifically Instagram. Specifically Instagram. Mm -hmm. So you saw somebody's Instagram and were inspired to go out and get them yourself. That's essentially what happened. My whole life, I've been a nail biter. Mm. So it's also other than fashion, a strategy to try and, you know, stop that bad habit. So as a result, I have pretty silly, long, fake nails. In my head, it's that they're making me type like a secretary. (laughs) That's great. What do they look like? Are they a special color? They're just a gray... And they're shaped like uh, little coffins. <laughs> little coffins. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the name of the shape, is a coffin. Okay. And being a slight goth in my heart, I had to go with the coffin nails. So it's a weird one, but that's what's new for me right now. Well, Halloween is just around the corner, so it sounds like you're already a little bit prepared for that. That's exactly it. (laughs) Well, Morag, uh, let's change the subject completely (laughs) for our topic today. Actually, what we're going to do today, guys, is a simplified speech episode. And in these kinds of episodes, we have a totally natural conversation, but we speak at a slightly slower pace. And just before we get started, I want to tell you that if you want to get the study guide for this episode, which includes the transcript and vocabulary definitions, examples, explanations, and a quiz, just visit culips.com to download that. Okay, Morag, let's get started here talking about school lunch. Now, when you were a student, Morag, did your school have a cafeteria? I went to a lot of different schools. Some of Mm. them did have cafeterias, and some of them did not. I never went to a school with a cafeteria, personally. Hmm. I went to a private school for a while, Mm -hmm. and they did have a full cafeteria complete with the uh, stereotypical Eastern European lunch lady. (laughs) Did she ever say, no soup for you? No, (laughs) I wish. (laughs) (laughs) So I was always jealous of students that had a school cafeteria because it felt like that was the real school experience you know i would watch movies and tv shows the kids were always hanging out together in the school cafeteria Mm -hmm. in movies you see these crazy things happen in the cafeteria like food fights (laughs) or you know kids picking on each other or different cliques hanging out with each other. Is this actually what it was like in your cafeteria? No, I'm sorry to disappoint. Uh, But I think that might be 80s high school movies. (laughs) It's where I got most of that uh, myself. But uh, that cafeteria that I was speaking about 
people, we, we would all go and eat, but the food was not good. Uh, and so if you, if you wanted to eat well, you would try and figure out a different option. And the food wasn't strictly free. Okay. You had to buy cards, punch cards, that kind of thing. Uh, ah. Yeah. So, or be on a meal plan as it had boarding students as well. A boarding school is one where students live there, sleep there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it had to be there for the boarding students. But I think they maybe had cliques and things in the cafeteria, but mm -hmm. everyone else either avoided it or took the food outside or to their other areas of the school. It was a go get your stuff and go away. Not as fun. No, that's not like the movies at all. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a student in elementary school, I had to eat my lunch in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of our listeners would perhaps find that weird that we ate lunches in the classroom. We didn't have a specific lunchroom even. It was the same with my regular public schools. We mm -hmm. ate lunch in the classroom. It was all right. <laughs> yeah, so the teacher would leave the classroom. She would go to the staff room, take a break, and we would have lunch monitors come into the classroom. Maybe even some parents volunteered as well to watch us students while we were there eating our bag lunches that we would bring from home. Hey, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have Lunchables? <laughs> you know what? I never had Lunchables myself, mm. but some of my classmates did, and I was always jealous. They looked so good. They were pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> and for our listeners, um, Lunchables were prepackaged, like simple lunches for kids that resembled more attractive kid food. So there was pizza. Mm -hmm. Not real pizza, but something that approximated pizza. <laughs> it Close was to pizza. Yeah, almost pizza. Yeah. A little piece of bread, a packet of sauce, some strange cheese and little pepperonis. And you could make <laughs> miniature pizzas that was the best thing about school lunch as a kid one other food that i remember and i don't even know if it had a name i'm sure it did but i don't remember the name craft i believe it was the craft brand that made it and in one section of the little plastic container were several crackers and then there was another section of the container for either peanut butter or <gasps> cheese whiz. Yes. Cheese sauce. And it came with a little red stick mm -hmm. that you could spread the peanut butter onto your cracker with. I loved these. Those red sticks were also in the Lunchables. And they were <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> an important part. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do at lunchtime was to trade food with other students mm. because, you know, my, my mom always tried to give me healthy food, which is understandable, but it's not fun to eat healthy food when your friends are eating these great looking <laughs> snacks. You know, I'm eating an apple and they're eating fruit by the foot or... Oh, Yeah. <laughs> or Lunchables. You had it rough. I had it rough. So I would trade, you know, you could try and influence people to uh, trade you a Lunchables for an apple or <laughs> something like this. <laughs> it's a tough trade. No trade. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I was successful. And this is uh, something that I remember from my school days. It's a fun little memory. <laughs> I would not have traded, though. No, you would keep your hands on that Lunchables, right? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, Morag, it was fun to talk to you today about acrylic nails and school lunches. Esoteric is the word for this conversation. Very esoteric, very all over the place. So just before we wrap up here, everybody, remember to visit our website, which is www.culips.com. You can listen to all of our other episodes on our website, as well as check out the study guide for this episode that I talked about a little bit earlier on in the show. And if you use social media like Facebook or Twitter, make sure to follow us. Our Facebook page is facebook.com slash podcast. And we are on Twitter at at Culips Podcast. That's it for us. We'll talk to you later, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Do you like listening to Culips? If so, please show your support by leaving Culips a five star rating and a review on iTunes or Stitcher. This helps new listeners find the show. So don't delay. Rate and review today.